welcome to 813 Gardens. My name is Ed. Please take a second to like the video, comment, and most important, subscribe. Hey guys, what's up? This is Ed with 813 Garden coming to you with a another video on how to make hot sauce. As you know, we have been growing jalapeno peppers in the front yard and I wanted to take the opportunity to try to make some hot sauce using all of the peppers that these plants are producing. So first I decided I'm going to cook the peppers down, brown them, and add some onion to it. As you can see here, I've added onion and I'm just letting it cook down, okay? These are fresh jalapenos also. Um, we're gonna add some fermented jalapenos later in the video. So we're gonna let this just, just simmer. And you let your onions simmer on top for a little bit. And then you're gonna wanna move things around, flip them over so the, um, the onions can get some direct contact to the heat from your pan, just like you see here. And we're just gonna let that simmer until the jalapenos and the onions are pretty much completely cooked. Okay. I have been at it today. I also made a batch of habanero hot sauce earlier. So my kitchen is a complete mess, but that's part of the fun. So as you can see, my jalapeno peppers are definitely browned really nice. We still have a little bit of time for the onions to start to at least start to caramelize. You can see in there, on the, there there's also one jalapeno pepper that actually I left it on the, the plant a little bit longer than normal and it turned red. Those typically are a little bit more spicy. So I'm gonna add some minced garlic. I strongly suggest guys that you use fresh garlic, but this was just a quick thought and I just went with it and I didn't have any fresh garlic so I did have a can of uh, this minced garlic in the refrigerator so that's what I used but I would strongly suggest that you use fresh garlic okay so we're gonna continue to let this simmer we're gonna let this cook down real nice until the garlic and the onions have started to caramelize And you guys can't smell this, but it smells amazing. So for seasoning, you can add whatever you want. In this case, I'm gonna add a little bit of rosemary and let it cook down with my peppers and onions. Just add a little bit of extra flavor. Wow, guys, the smell of this is just amazing. Initially, when the peppers first started cooking, you could smell the spiciness to it, but now it's just amazing. So we're gonna move on, and uh, what you're seeing right here is my blender. In the back, on the right side, you see I've made a full jar of super hot pepper sauce, and on the left, those are some fermenting super hot peppers as well. Those are ghost pepper and Carolina Reaper. So we're just gonna take our pepper mixture now that they've caramelized and the peppers are nice and browned and we're just gonna put them into our blender. You wanna scoop everything out, as much of those ingredients as you can get. You wanna get those into your blender. All right, so now that we have everything in our blender, and you can see those are nicely browned, 
The onions are nicely caramelized. You're gonna wanna add a little bit of tequila to this, okay? That's <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. No tequila, that was a joke. You're gonna wanna put the cap on your blender. But before you do that, um, in this case, I'm going to add some fermented jalapenos that I also had, okay? And I got a couple cherry bomb peppers in there as well. I'm gonna add this to my jalapeno peppers in the blender. And the round ones there are cherry bomb peppers. Okay, so you can pour all your peppers in there, or in this case, I'm just using a set of tongs and I'm just gonna make sure I get all those peppers in there. This smells really great, guys. So I'm also, I also decided to add a little bit of the brine from my fermented jalapenos, okay? And that's just gonna add a little bit more flavor. Um, it's vinegar, so it's also gonna assist in uh, me not having to refrigerate this when it's all done if I want to, okay? So we're gonna put the lid on there and you can see my hands are discolored because I've been making hot sauce all day. No worries guys, it's part of the fun, okay? So we're just gonna blend this down, get rid of all the chunks, okay? And occasionally you wanna just take a spoon and dip it in there and check to make sure you got the consistency that you're looking for. All right. And here we have our jar of jalapeno hot sauce. Okay. It tastes amazing. I will use this primarily for cooking, but I'll also, what I like to do, I will also buy a, a bottle of ketchup and add it to the ketchup. And that will be my spicy hot ketchup. Okay. So I, like I said, I will cook with this and um, I'll add it onto sandwiches and different menu items and it's really great you can add it to the chips and salsa you can add it to your burger uh, you can add this hot sauce to just about anything you want especially if you have something that you just want to add some extra spice to it just drop a teaspoon of it into the mixture and you got something really special going on so that's it guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. If you haven't already, like the video. It's very important. And most important, subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Thanks.